Hey Aquarius, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections Reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. Alright Aquarius, thank you for all your um, continued support and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Alright Aquarius, let's see what storyline can we get for you today in love. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. First card out, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have Page of Cups. Wow, okay. Some of you may have been holding off expressing how you feel towards someone, towards a situation, and you've probably been staying um, off grid, yeah, off the grid for now. Or I mean, in the recent past, I feel like it's you, um, you know, spending more time on your own, doing whatever things you want to do on your own. Yeah, I feel like there's some sense of detachment here not just from one person but from the world yeah um all right relating to love to a romantic connection whatever this connection is for you um, i feel that you may have pulled out your emotional investment yeah this is you not really expressing emotionally or not trying to be vulnerable towards somebody yeah consciously though yeah this is a decision that you made yeah not to invest um, emotionally towards someone yeah and um, and it's been like that for quite a while I feel even though you you know you could feel this you know this connection with somebody um, I feel like you're choosing to be more independent. You're choosing to be on your own. Mm -hmm. And I feel that the person that you're dealing with, they know that. Yeah, They know that you are not putting investment emotionally. You are not being open to them. So this person may have, you know, this person knows that you are not willing to be in in that sort of relationship with them mm -hmm. nevertheless even though even though that's pretty apparent for both of you i feel like um your person knows that your intention possibly is not beyond i don't know this could even be like friendship or or something or for some of you this is just you taking a break from from being in in relationships being in you know emotional connection with someone um but i feel that you're open to talk you're open to go through your day to day and you know just be nothing much to pursue nothing much to really um show yeah to uh, to another person mm, your person knows that and i feel that this person likes you interested in you and somebody who who has a lot of passion towards you and since they know that um you may not be invested fully this is someone who is turning their energies towards themselves yeah somebody who is building their own selves instead rather than investing into this connection yeah i feel that in terms of attraction in terms of love in terms of compassion care this person has everything towards you. They want you. They miss you. They they want to be with you. But in a in a very in a level that may not be in line with what you are giving right now. So I do sense that this person may want more than what you are able to give. As somebody who wants to be more emotionally connected, so to speak. 
So there's that disparity between the two of you and I feel that even though both of you are connected, you both are your own persons, yeah? It's not that um, you are together. I don't see this as being in a relationship, at least yeah, in this reading. It's more about both of you being you. They are also doing the same thing, yeah? One thing good about this person is that they are continuously building themselves, yeah, caring for themselves, doing the things that they love. And they could even spend a lot of time, you know, um, focusing on their own stability. Spending time with people that they, they hang out with people that they enjoy with. Yeah. Somebody who is turning to be more creative, somebody who is um, pushing forward with their own passion in life to make them happy. Yeah. So even if they want this connection, this is someone who knows how to take care of their wants and needs in life. Pretty independent. Now, in your case, though, I feel that you may have detached emotionally, but I do see you sort of eyeing, still eyeing on this person. Yeah, you're pointing to this person, your intention, you may have mentioned that or not, but it's I, I see that you are wanting to reignite some form of passion with them. This could be you wanting to take some new step to communicate with them, to to reignite some fun, to reignite some passion here. Yeah. Reignite some passion. Um partly I feel that this connection it's very enveloped with um, that sense of stability, sense of wanting to be more comfortable in life, sense of wanting to have more stability and security in the long run, or wanting to be grounded. Yeah. This is a situation that from, um, for some of you, this connection right here may appear to have been quite toxic in the past. Yeah. There could have been that element of toxicity. It could be one or two part or both of you. I don't know, but there is this sense of somebody having some addictions, you know, that may not have been that may have been a, a big part of of why this connection is not pushing the way it's intended to. Or it's not growing the way it is intended to by both parties. Mm -hmm. but it could also be that there is this sense of dependency in terms of money. Yeah. Or the lack thereof. But I do see you're, you're dealing with someone who is pretty strong on their own. Somebody who can take care of themselves. And they've got their life going the way they want it. Yeah. Um, but you know, there is this possibility or there is this sense of this connection still going to be good or this connection has the um, potential for it to be um, committed, to be more grounded, you know. There is that potential. It's the way I see it here is that both parties have undergone some form of self um, development here, whether it be you who has gotten some form of um, new perception about this connection or your person. On the other hand, they know what they can provide or they can give in this situation, but if they're not getting some form of reciprocity, then this person knows how to make themselves work with or without this connection. Yeah, that's what I see. It's a lot of independence here. A lot of, of, of independent energy in both sides. Mm -hmm. But there is this potential for this connection to really go the distance, to be more um, or to elevate into a rather more committed type of relationship if both parties meet and talk things out. Yeah. 
I feel one form of initiation here would come from you. You might want to initiate a talk um, or to try to reignite the fun here. Some of you, um, I feel that there is also this sense of um, somebody not wanting to be Somebody is not ready to, okay, two things here. One is somebody is not ready to be in a committed relationship, like mono monogamous kind of relationship. That's one thing because this person just doesn't um, want to be tied up or they are their own person. So that could be you or that could be the person that you're dealing with. Another message I'm getting is that somebody here may be of a jealous type. Yeah. Somebody here may be of a jealous type. And the other party just doesn't, you know, feels like it's too um, depleting yeah, to deal with such energy. And that's what I'm getting. Yeah. But so far, even if you're both independent from one another, right now i could see that um this connection is still there yeah it's just not moving it's just not moving and like i said one way to one way that this is going to work is when somebody here will take the step to initiate to bring back that passion passion is lack lacking here especially if you are closed off emotionally and the other party is just very a passionate individual then that doesn't really work out right but i do feel that you aquarius will be taking some steps here i feel you've made a decision to be more emotionally open yeah it's a it's a yeah it's the chariot here we have so you've made a decision here after some some <laughs> some time of thinking about this no. For some of you, you may even have been thinking about it for quite a while. What can you do to win this? Yeah. To bring back the spark or to win this so that you can both be in a workable, stable kind of relationship. You've been thinking about this. Yeah. But if you must know, this is someone who is very passionate towards you and love you and has feelings for you. But at the same time, they want stability. The sense of unpredictable behavior or unpredictability is something that you both need to talk about. Yeah. Because this connection has that potential to be stable, to be comfortable. Yeah. But somebody here is just a little bit predictable, unpredictable. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I do see that um, you will take the step and we'll see in the next uh, readings how, what type of energies can we get from there then. But that's what I have for you for now and um, I hope this gives you insights and um, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.